Okay. This is sort of what their winner winner side looked like. Put the doll out there, control a lot of space, try not to lose too much of your doll meter to pokes, and check the approach. But in this case, uh, Psychotics is going to get the corner position. And as Jive knows, getting charge against uh, Carl Pressure in order to flash kick, tall order. Yeah. Nice pick up on the no tech. He does it. <laughs> doesn't even activate the doll because he knows he doesn't want to give him a rapid option. Yeah, that's good. I think that's why he did it. But really, he did the flash kick in the first place. There's a super. Close it out. Are we going to see a different approach in neutral? Yeah, of course. Just go into stance and do cheap stuff. Wow, that Carl caught out the uh, JC, I think. Let's throw it at the doll. Nice mid screen confirm. Pushes him back towards the corner. Sandwich situation. Poor Ruka has to just hold up back to hope to get away from the doll. But... Yeah. Anti air 5 Fatal counter forces the burst. 6B. Nice combo. 3.6K off of that. Another 6B. I think it's a 6C. Oh, 6C but, for the overhead. Yeah. Okay, yeah, the overhead. Somebody, somebody might pop into the stream though and be like, that's not a 6B. That's a 6. But I'm like 100% sure it's yeah, Ren, Ren Kazu, if you, if you can look that up. <laughs> she said hi, you didn't say hi back. I didn't see it. Well, I did now. <laughs> Alright, Psychotic starting off with some aggression, then sets up the doll. This just looks miserable. This just looks miserable. I don't think it's that. Well, I don't know. I don't play Kago, so that looks miserable. <laughs> Ooh, nice block. Fatal counter, though. Add some crush trigger damage, some fun stuff. Drops it, though. <laughs> Calls out the uh, JD. Yeah, the, the stance has to go into another stance, so it's usually like. That was unfortunate, Ruby. Okay, <laughs> big chance for Ruka now, Valente. Thankfully, unlike Klim, everyone is wearing headphones. <laughs> What, do you, what are we supposed to say about this? I don't know. Kagura can barely move forward. He can poke at the doll, but and, the, feel, and then the like, meter comes back already. I feel like I feel like Kagura doesn't necessarily have to be forced to move in this matchup. Not if he's got a life lead like this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But Carl switches sides very easily, so. Nice TP. Open up low or high. Ball's out swinging. Cover the space. Put it back in the corner. Do you bait this DP? Ooh, that was good. He um, he could have gone for like some pressure after Gerard seeing, but he knows the Volante is there, so he just let it rock to the top of the screen. We see Surfboard RC. Oh, loses the exchange there. Wow, going right into the Astral. It's that kind of it's that kind of tournament. I mean, it's optimal. I hate this Astral so much, though. Yeah. Shoutouts to underpaid 3D artists. <laughs> so, character select. Doesn't even want to give up the loser side bracket, or the, uh, the first set without giving S a chance. Oh, thanks. I'm not sure what this changes other than maybe S can move a little bit more freely against the doll. 
Yeah. Is he still gonna try and poke at her in mid screen? So we'll find out. Also, if you're good enough to play two characters, you can kind of like test how they fight another character. Like you might think that they're just better at fighting Kagura, so. Get that information now. Yeah. And if it, things don't work out, then you got your choice back at the end of this. Yeah. Using the press, get the plus frames, catch a jump. I'm already liking this more. Must be nice having a DP that can just be 6 2 3 instead of requiring charge. Yeah, I feel like. Plus frames. Well, yeah, I'm not sure. I don't have either. Well, I have a, a charge, so. Okay, 6P catches the jump out. S loops. Wow, where does this character's damage come from? <laughs> no damage, no mix, no pressure. Yeah. Poor Ruka, the low tier hero. <laughs> Delayed wake up. Actually, he gets out of the situation, but then right back into it. First out, thinks he's got a good chance to get this back from neutral. Counter assault. Very close to the corner. Wow, JB. Fishing with 6B. Good confirmed that Doll was perfectly timed with the jump in and super closes it out. So, Psychotic one game away from resetting the bracket. If you want Ruka to come back in this set 3 0 with S, we're going to need to see some woobies. <laughs> I think we're only going to see one. Nice block on six, or overhead. I don't know what button it is, so I won't say. Press, oh wow, that's a dirty, dirty throw setup. Press. Open up high. All right, instant overhead RC. Okay, never mind, just gets hit. Try for it. <laughs> Oh, wow, and the jump out, so he's going to keep the corner position. Again, not picking up on the uh, Tech and the Valente. Ah! We're baited, and it looks yeah, like we're going for a reset. Go, go. Psychotic looking extremely calm. Ruka stretching out a little bit. <laughs> Smacks that uh, rematch button. So I guess he's staying on S. Dualshock 4 disconnected. Oh. <laughs> At least yeah. it happened before anything happened. Yeah, yeah, this should be fine. Oh, we bought a click. Thanks for coming and hanging out, watching your Seattle boys. Okay, so we're just going to sort out some controller issues. Log back in. Was that the Ebonic Plague coming to judge our commentary? <laughs> oh no. <laughs> Great, now I have to... Shoot. <laughs> I should leave so I don't make you look bad. <laughs> uh, no fear of that. <laughs> wow, going right in. Oh. Corner swap. Ooh. Okay. DP gets him out. Fortunately, even with all these press, S cannot get in. I hate when I hate when characters have that where they like they can just sit there while something's hitting them. Yeah. <laughs> Psychotic showing that he's happy to pull out the tricky stuff. Yeah. Actually, one thing I've noticed about Psychotic, um, he's done this twice to Ruka and once to another person, but if he's down to like last round, like 2 2, he pulls out this one gimmick. The like the left right with the drive. Right. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's I saw him do that once and he and he did it three times in a row and they all hit and I was like, man, that was gross. <laughs> that was gross. <laughs> okay. So there, get the boars. Now you got a little bit more threat behind some of your folks as S. But then you get put in this situation. Nice DP out. And the crest is gonna allow a pickup after. 
Cheap stuff. You're gonna get a decent corner position. And Whoa. just just, just rolls up. Just roll out of there. At, at, at its finest. Great defense from Psychotic, but he's got a huge life deficit. Box the overhead, wrap it into ambiguous, I don't know where that S was. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, didn't get active flow early enough. I'm just 5C. Uh, so, Ruka now got around with his S, so this could be the start of a very long set between these two. Positioning the doll, mid screen. Slowly gaining some space. Not able to stop the S approach though. Full combo. <laughs> and just gets out of there again. <laughs> Good call out on the left right. Whoa. Good buttons from Ruka. Ooh, nice. Wow, cross under into throw. Okay. Doll now in between. Alright, I gotta go. Good luck. Oh, Good luck in Eunice Drive Turkey. Okay, psychotic now. In the corner. Forces the burst. Valente's coming out. Oh. Super, not quite good enough. 100 meter for Psychotic. What kind of options does he have? Suck him in with the doll. Just one or two stray projectiles can kill Carl, and one or two stray doll hits, but big crest on all. Pick it up, so first game going to Ruka. Nice stuff. You can see the S versus Kagura character choice. It's not an overwhelming difference, but Ruka has definitely been able to make a lot more situations work with S. Both players back off. Grab fours. Back the ball a little bit. Not a full combo from Psychotic, but he has the Sammer situation there, so cheap stuff, empty low, block. And there's the cross up. Ooh, accidentally gets Allegretto. Wow, it just falls down out of the air in the doll for a full pickup. DP to get out though. Doesn't get the second hit. Interesting situation. Anti air. Jump castle in the wrong direction though. Doll is back. Needs a little bit more gas in the tank. Oh, and those active frames on the clap. Doesn't quite get the side swap that he was looking for. And then just button into overhead. Ruka leans back in his chair a little bit after that. He knows. Okay, very aggressive start from Ruka, but uh, Psychotic avoids it. Yeah, you can see Ruka definitely preferring to keep Carl in between S and the doll. DP. Okay, delayed low. Psychotic maybe thought there was really going to be an ace overhead. There it is. Forces the first. Maybe should have waited for the rapid to come out. Oh, wow, that cross up JD. Ooh. Oh, another pickup. Put him in the corner. Damage is really starting to add up now. Super, not punish. Barrier on the uh, EA. Fatal counter, and I think this is going to do it. Well, I'm not too sure what was going on there, but Psychotic trying to get a little cheeky, maybe, and he's paying for it dearly. Instant overhead. Nope. Just goes for Boris. Regular overhead. And Psychotic seemed to throw away a perfectly good chance going to Super. Back to this very familiar neutral setup. Wow, the crest covers it. Smart stuff from Ruka. There's a throw. Forces the burst from Psychotic. He does not want to go down 2-0 in this set. 6B, not punished. 
calls out the left right again. Fatal counter. Yeah, he burst out. Tries to backdash, but that gigantic TP counter hit from the doll. Left right. Tries to go for a reset. If there's anybody who knows what's going on with these uh, Air Dash Allegretto's, let me know. Okay, Doll is set up. Slight life lead for Ruka S. Very slight life lead. Both players, lots of meter. Not quite punished, use the counter assault, and then just gets hit by the overhead. So Ruka's gonna go up 2 0 over Psychotic. Ruka's been able to find an amazing amount of success in these situations where Psychotic has to guess on defense, whether it's going to be like low, delayed low, instant JB, something like that. In this case, Ruka using the 214 series to look like call out a mash. Counter him. Immediate DP. Do not want to get into that situation. Open up low. Not a pull confirmed. There's the overhead. Use the press for cover. Get a throw after. Forces the burst. Wow. Air DP after blocking the clap. Good stuff from Ruka. And he is just bulldozing Psychotic right now. Pressure reset. There's the instant overhead. Rest allows for a full pickup. And Ruka's going to go on tournament point with this. Psychotic has a hand on his chin. He's thinking. I can see his brain activity spiking. So we're going to have to see if he can find an adjustment. Tricky air, air stuff. 5A wins this exchange. Overhead block this time. We're watching Psychotic fight for his life one time. I... Last time I saw that, uh, Psychotic was on Loser. Uh, Psychotic has reset him in Grand Finals, and he's trying to stay alive here, but Ruka on Tournament Point. When did he switch to S? I saw him playing Kagura earlier. He switched to S on the last game of the first set. Uh, okay. And definitely found out better for him. Yeah. yeah, he's found a lot of success. Cheap stuff. I have no idea if that was same side or cross up. Hey, Psychotic has it. a really strong start here. There's a DP. Wow, perfectly timed. Kills the doll too. Press doesn't get a full pickup. There's the cross up JB and Excess on mix This is looking bad for Psychotic. Does have overdrive available. 6B. You burst this. There it is. Super. Wow, doll just ate it. Psychotic on his last limbs here. It's going to have to doesn't get something kind of grimy, but it might be kind of hard with S's DP here. Oh my gosh. Oh, okay. Nice, nice catch by Psychotic. Doll of meter is dangerously low. Okay, Fatal. Nice fatal. Burst coming out. Oh, and that's it! Ruka takes it off of a fantastic cross-up. Poor Psychotic, unable to defend the Canadian grounds. Nope, Seattle takes it this time. <laughs> Okizemi 14 going the way of the Americans, thanks to Ruka. Great stuff. Really high quality play today. Glad we got to see a lot of the Seattle players come up. And we haven't had a chance to play a lot of them before. I, this is my first time playing against like Lushi, uh, which was quite an experience. Yeah, no, that was cool. Um, I actually played against two of the three Seattle guys, my friend. Right on, yeah. Um, I played against, yeah, two. I played two of them, so. Uh, yeah, I, about this last match, I don't know. It's so difficult uh, when you're playing at this level to find the holes and when you do find them then to counter adjust back which is what we saw psychotic played extremely well in the first set then switched to s and even though he uh, ruka lost that last game in the original set it, he was seemed a little bit more comfortable and then just tore through psychotic in the grand finals reset and psychotic looked like he never really found an answer for a lot of common situations on defense, Ruka was able to make a lot of work out of overheads and cross-ups and stuff like that, and Crest covering all sorts of nonsense. So it really did look like um, 
uh, the S pick was working out way yeah, better for him. Definitely over Kagura. Whereas on winner's side, um, when these two played, Kagura was making his uh, he was worth his weight in gold just based on the command grab alone. And then this said it wasn't quite uh, as effective. But yeah. Good stuff from both players. Psychotic staying on. He might have his Unis match because I believe that is what um, we'll be Eunice putting on stream. Unis is being streamed on Canadian joysticks right now. Okay. I'm not sure what the plan is for this one here. Uh, uh, it should have is. been. I mean, let's get two Unis streams. That would be that two Unis streams would be amazing. Dra We're not running Dragon Ball yet, are we? I don't uh, think. I don't know when it starts.